Welcome back to FMIS Unit 201, a series of short videos uh, with, uh, on working with Aptana. So for this video, I'm going to show how to complete online exercise 9, uh, where you will be downloading a template and then uh, making some adjustments to the template as part of the semester project. So I'll be going back and forth between different windows here, so don't get confused. I'll be using both the Mac and uh, the Windows version of Optana. So the instruction says that uh, you should download a template, publish it to Pascal, and start customizing the template with your personal information. For this video, I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you how to download the template and perhaps choose the right template for you that's going to make your job of completing the semester project easier. So the first thing you want to do is uh, make sure that you have your guides available. Here I've got the working with templates slide open. It's got instructions on how to download the template. The first thing it says is to create two subfolders in the FMIS 2201 folder called templates and backup. And don't create it in the public underscore HTML because that's what you're going to upload to your web server. Create it outside uh, that folder. And then I'm going to start looking for the suitable template. So let's go to um, let's take a look at the folders here. I've got my backup folder right there, my semester project. Notice that it's in the FMI Suni 201 folder and my templates folder, all nicely created. So if I go into my semester project, I'll see my current public underscore HTML with my uh, previous assignment homework, uh, my index file, and my style CSS. What's going to happen is we are going to actually delete all of this and starts fresh using the template. So before deleting it, it's probably a good idea to practice making a backup of this file. And you will do the same thing with your template. Uh, and how to do that, I've shown this uh, before, but I'll do it again. Uh, go up a folder, make sure you can see your public underscore HTML, and then make a copy of it. Just right click, copy. And then go to your backup folder. And notice I've already got some previous backups that I've created. Just paste your public underscore HTML folder right there. And then rename it with the date of your work. So for example, today is July 16th, I think. There you go. So now you have a backup of the work that you've done uh, today. Uh, so now we can go back to the semester project and we can delete all the files that we have here and public underscore HTML is now empty. Now, this is very important that you do this and uh, later when we go to the server we'll also delete the old public underscore HTML files before we upload our new files so that uh, we don't want the web server to be confused uh, uh, you know, the new files with the old files. So now that we've cleaned up public underscore HTML, um, and this is actually written up in the guide, it says, um, you know, uh, it'll say some in here, delete the old file. But anyway, so let's go to find a suitable template from the template publishers. And I'm suggesting that you find one on a free website templates that's available. You can look for it in free CSS. The reason why I like the free website templates is it's kind of easy. It's not too, the templates are not too hard, not too complex, and not too simple either. And we need to find a template that has a navigation section, several pictures, uh, CSS external style sheet, and we should avoid flash templates. So let's go ahead and look for the template. I'm just going to Google free website templates and that's the site it says www 
www.freewebsitetemplates.com and I'm going to scroll down and choose one that I like. Um, now, I, students in the past have used some of these templates. Some of them have used the legal template here, the business template. Some of them have used the beach resort that's worked quite well. Um, the Her Designs template has been used quite uh, extensively too. Uh, I'm going to use the Garden Walkthrough template. And you need to download the template. And remember, we have a templates folder that we've created already. So I'm just going to click on Download. And if you set up your browser right, it should open up and say, where do you want to save it? Remember, we did this in our first few exercises in this course. So it'll say, save file, and I say, yes, I want to save. And it comes in the form of a zip file that you need to extract. Remember, we also worked with zip files, so we know how to extract them, right? So click on save. And I'm going to look for my favorite folder. And there's my templates folder. Of course, I've got a whole bunch of templates from previous downloads. And what you want to do is just go ahead and save it right there. And you'll notice I already have mine. Um, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So save the template. And down it goes. It takes a few minutes or seconds, depending on your connection. My connection is not very, not very good where I am. So that's probably going to take some time. So I'm just going to... Uh, cancel that and I'm going to go down to my template once it's downloaded right there and I'm going to extract it so I have my garden walkthrough and and you know how to extract uh, templates all you have to do is on the Mac it's just a double click and should extract it right away uh, or, uh, for example, if I have a template right here, I can extract all. Uh, and that will extract it into a folder. Once you've extracted it, you'll extract it in a folder like so. And sometimes, depending on the setup, you'll extract it into another subfolder, which is kind of confusing. but. You know, you can find your way, and this is, these are the files that you'll need for your assignment. Okay, you'll notice that it's got the index.html file, and it's got a whole bunch of other files as well. Now, again, depending on the template you've downloaded, some of those templates don't give you any extra files. It just give you an index.html file, which is fine. And we'll find a way of, uh, we have a way of uh, duplicating files uh, so that we can create those other files. But anyway... So once you've extracted the files, you can take a look at it. And of course, the easiest way to take a look at them is just to double click on them. Just double click. And then, and here's what the template looks like. So if you like this template, notice in the instructions, it says find a template that has a home page with a main picture that you can replace with your own picture and uh, maybe several pictures down here, which it does have. And I can go back now and check the other ones. And this is uh, the other file. So this is another file that is a little different from the home page. And we're going to use this one for perhaps um, the hobbies uh, file that we need. All right. So now that we've downloaded and extracted the files, we're ready to copy these files into the public underscore HTML. So we need to create two folders, or two windows rather, in a new window. On the left is your template files, and on the right, you want to go to your public underscore HTML folder. That should be blank, right? Should be empty because we just deleted our old files. And we're going to just go ahead and copy all these files, including the folders, including the CSS and images folder. Now, remember, do not copy the actual folder, the garden walkthrough folder in my case. Okay, Copy the files and paste it.
and there we go. Now, the next thing you want to do is delete a file that we're not going to need. This file is a pretty huge file. It's actually a Photoshop file that the template provides. It's called the .psd file. I want you to delete it because sometimes it creates problems when you're uploading to Pascal because it's so huge. In my case, it's about 31 megabytes. You can tell how different it is from the other files, right? So it's 31 megabytes. It might clog up your connection and cause you trouble. So you want to delete this file. And now it's clean. Now, keep the original template available, okay, in case you mess up. So you can always you always have the original files that you can get back go back to in case you mess up the work that you're doing in your public underscore HTML folder. All right, now all we need to do is start working on them. Uh, now you've successfully downloaded your template folder or template files rather to your public underscore HTML folder. I'll see you in a bit.